Hello, my people, and welcome to Life with Mona. So this week, as we said, we are speaking with Maggie Gitu, who is a marriage, family, and sex therapist. And we're talking about sex, you know, the meaning it has in our society, the meaning it has to us, and just unraveling this topic and going a little bit deeper. No pun intended. So, <laughs> <laughs> Maggie, yeah. tell us more about yourself, exactly what it is that you do. Um, okay, so I am a marriage, family, and sex therapist, mm -hmm. and... Um, I see, I, th that's just a long, long way of yeah. saying that I'm a, I'm a psychotherapist. Okay. I deal with any number of issues, actually, life issues, mm -hmm. whatever issues. But if there's a sex or sexuality issue, sexual function, mm -hmm. sexual dysfunction, mm -hmm. sexual trauma, then those would be the clients that would be sent to me okay. or that would come to me directly. Does that include um, not necessarily physical, but even mental, emotional? Do you, do you deal with that as well Absolutely. as far as sex is concerned? Yeah, sexually and non-sexually. Okay. So I'm looking at, some people come to me because they, they're struggling to cope with life in general. Okay. Some people have, are going through a divorce. Some people have had a death. Mm -hmm. Some people are just feeling kind of overwhelmed with so many things going mm -hmm. on and just feel lost like in a whirlpool. Okay. Some are young, some are old, yeah. some are male, some are female. So it's all around it's, the board. Yep. Okay. It's all around the board, mm -hmm. all religions, all sexual orientations. Mm -hmm. So for me, whether you're gay or straight mm -hmm. or anywhere on the LGBTQI yeah. spectrum. Okay, that's, ex that's yeah. excellent. Yeah. So whatever yeah. you are, whoever you are, my mm -hmm. hope is you always feel that you have a safe space mm -hmm. in my professional space. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think you're the right person to talk to then. Okay. Yay. <laughs> all right. So let's, let's jump into it. Okay. First of all, mm. sex. Why are we so obsessed with it? Why do you think it, it revolves around almost every single function mm -hmm. in our society? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, as you asked me that question, I think two things. Mm -hmm. Well, a couple of things, I guess. One of them is that it's pleasurable. Mm -hmm. And we have been conditioned religiously, societally, yeah. in our families to feel bad about good. To feel shame. Even. Yes. yes. So if yes. you enjoy eating, there's ah, shame attached to that. If you enjoy you. something, there's shame attached to that. Uh -huh. And sex is the ultimate because yeah. sex is a biological function for every species, yeah. but for us, we actually as humans have sex for pleasure. Yeah, and Unlike dolphins, most. I heard. Yeah, and dolphins, it's like right? humans, yeah. dolphins, and I, I don't know if there's one more species uh -huh. that has sex for pleasure only. Uh -huh. every, every, every other species has for function. procreation, yes, yes, there's a function to it. So I think it becomes, it's become this big, huge mm -hmm. deal. Mm -hmm. When in reality, especially if you look at in relationships, Sex is only an issue when there's a problem. When sex is good, there's people don't no even problem. mention it. That's true. Yeah. When I ask, how is your sex life? That's and the it. sex life is good, they're like, ah, wait, it's okay. It's good. Yeah. But when there's a problem, they say, well, we haven't mm -hmm. had sex for a while. It becomes now that's, mm -hmm. that's a problem. Mm -hmm. And because of this obsession, then even advertising has become it now revolves sex around sales. It. Yes. yes. It's become the most controversial thing. Yeah. Probably like this particular uh, monologue, this particular life with Mona mm. is going to have a lot of hits. You know, yeah. simply because we're talking about, about sex. sex. So you've said something really interesting. You've mm -hmm. said sex is a very pleasurable thing. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, society has associated it with something to be hidden and something to be shameful. Mm. And that is the reason why it has so much power. Because we're all secretly enjoying this pleasure. And nobody wants to come out and, and say, listen, yeah. this is a good thing. Let's do it. Right? Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah, I think it's just been made into... You, you know when you tell a child, don't touch that? Yeah. What's the first thing they want to do? Yeah, yeah. They, they want to touch, touch it, it, right? It's like me on a diet. <laughs> if you tell me... Like, I don't really eat chips. I don't like chips. But if you tell me, go on a diet and don't eat chips, guess what I want every lunchtime? Chips. chips. Yeah. 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 This actually just happened to me with meat. Uh -huh. Reduced meat. Yeah. What do I want? S suddenly, meat. meat. I even have to if, have meat. <laughs> even if it wasn't that big a deal to you yeah. in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. And I think then it becomes also, if you think about society into what it was before it became mm -hmm. what it is now, mm -hmm. which is we're more liberal to yeah. talk about it, to engage in it. Yeah. Societies were very fractured into their own tribes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Here and other places in the world. Yeah. And homogeneity was the kind of the thing that was valued. Mm -hmm. And Explain means, homogeneity to somebody like who's sameness, like, sameness, I know. <laughs> sameness, you know, the idea that all Christians do this. Yeah. 
all ah, married women do this. Yes. All Muslims do this, yes. right? And so you need to control certain aspects yeah. of that in order to keep those systems in place. Yeah. For and survival. then no one knew what anybody was doing anyway because mm -hmm. you didn't know what Luos were doing or what yeah. Kikuyus were doing because yeah. you all just stayed in your tribal yeah. enclaves. Mm -hmm. um, and even other places in the world. Technology, though, has, has started has teaching us, that oh, that's possible and that's possible. Yeah. And non-sexually, even in, in things like discipline, we are struggling, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's true. That's now, true. talk about sexual revolution. Mm -hmm. That was in the 70s. Yes. We are now having the like the... Yeah. Are we, are we going through that again, do you think? Actually, before we even get to that, let's, let's, let's first of all determine mm -hmm. what, the, what sex is to society today. If you were to break it down, how do you think the Kenyan society particularly looks at sex and the place of it? You know, it's interesting. I think in our Kenyan society, if you're married, sex is allowed. Mm -hmm. It's like the bad thing you are allowed to engage in. That's interesting. And only in the last few years have I seen places like churches and mosques mm -hmm and uh, communities that I've worked with, yeah. Christian and Muslim, tell me, please tell people it's okay to have sex. Yeah. Literally say that to yeah. me. To your question, yes. <laughs> sex has become very controversial because it's mm -hmm. forbidden. Mm -hmm. And it's forbidden and it's pleasurable. In the West right now, they're, being, they're very open about sex. Mm -hmm. However, arguably, these are the same people that came over here 100 years ago mm -hmm. and told us to cover up, mm -hmm. you know, because we used to yeah. Yeah, just walk. Yeah. Yes, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. hot African sun. So where, where did we get to this point where for the African or Kenyan even, sex is taboo? I don't think it has always been that way, has it? No, religion. Mm -hmm. So if you were to look at African sexual behavior prior to colonialism and, yeah. and after colonialism, I think you will find every tribe, even though no one knew what the other tribe was doing because we were all pretty secluded in our, yeah. Yeah, in our different communities, yeah. we all had our own individual unique ways of dealing with sexuality. Exactly. And even teaching yes. our, our growing adults, yes. isn't it? Yes. Our adolescence, first yes. of all, adolescence wasn't fluid. It was a stage, yeah. you get to about 13, you yeah. get circumcised or you get initiated in some way. Mm -hmm. You You're get to taught. 16, yes. something else happens. Some societies chose, there are societies that actually chose to teach masturbation. Exactly. Some Down south, chose. Southern Africa, they did that a lot. Exactly. Yes. Some chose to allow adolescents a season of kind of go and do your oh, thing. Really? Yeah. Tempor oh, so like immediately following, I think, circumcision yeah. or, and then after that it was like, okay. Yeah. Some communities so said, yes. yes. Some communities said from, <laughs> there's a tribe where they yeah. have a little, is it a song? From the waist up, uh -huh. it's like community property. From, but from <laughs> the waist down, you have to pay dowry, something okay. like that. Okay. Because again, in African context, mm -hmm. breasts are not sexual. That's true. Have you noticed breasts in the West, are... they're talking about, oh, you know, breastfeeding in public, it's immoral. And yeah. we're all looking at them like, I, oh, what do you mean? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. That baby's <laughs> hungry. They need to eat. So, and, and it expands everywhere. Even yeah. in massage for yes. Western clients, if yeah. you touch their breasts, it's hugely yeah. violating yeah. in a sexual way. I see. For us, they'll ask you at the they'll coast, ask you, yes. did, did you want your breast massage? Yeah. Even yes. the Asians okay. will ask you. If you go like, yeah, yes. yeah they'll ask you. Because for us, breasts, we used to just cover waist exactly. down. Yeah. And even sometimes just like, not even waist down, yeah. just like the, the bits. The thing, yes. Yes. Yeah. Some people didn't even have a loincloth. They had like a little, just. <laughs> and then these guys came with religion yes. and they shamed us. Yeah. And maybe they meant well, maybe they didn't. It depends mm. on, you know, They probably opinion. meant well, you know, it's, it's, it's probably it's what they believed, isn't it? Yeah. So they were spreading that. And what it ended up doing is fracturing us. Now, mm. that was their society as well. Yeah. And then they moved from that point to where they're very liberal and we have become and we have very become, contained. Yes. What do you think? Do you think there's a healthy balance somewhere in between that? And if it is, what would you say that balance is? I think so. You know, what happens now is because things are very liberal globally, mm -hmm. then it comes down to the individual, isn't it? Yeah. Even marriages are changing. Yeah. Dating is changing. Mm -hmm. Relationships are changing. It's no longer the theater of marriage. Yes. It's no longer um, roles and, and very strict, yeah. um, rigid roles. And so then the question becomes, what is your value? Mm. What is important to you? Mm -hmm. And I feel that that's actually challenging for our society because it's of colonialism. Yeah. Colonialism taught us to follow orders mm -hmm. or else. Colonialism taught us do what you're told or, or else. else. And that included the religion and even how we were taught 
Um, I think you went through eight for four, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. How we were taught was also, I, I keep yes. using this. Don't think, just do it. Do, do what it. I tell do you. It. Why do I have yeah. to do this? Because I said so. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm. And so t telling a generation of people mm -hmm. who have birthed and raised another generation of people who have birthed and raised another, another generation. generation of people yes. to think about their values and what's important yeah. to them yeah. can be very difficult information to digest. To digest as, yeah. In addition, Africa as a continent is a very what we call high context culture. Mm -hmm. what, you do impacts, what you do impacts on your mother, your father, your neighbors, right? What will people think? Yeah. We are very much what will people think. Yeah. Western cultures are more low context Individual. cultures. So it's what you do yeah. does literally does not matter. Yeah. It's important now to understand where the world is. Mm -hmm. In school, you will study Renaissance period, medieval period, yes. classical, and it baroque. Changes. Yeah. Once upon a time, the way we were dressed right now would be completely scandalous. Out of the what question. What are we showing? Absolutely. And you've painted your face. Yeah. And what know? are we showing? Like <laughs> exactly. arms? Like exactly. Nothing. Yeah. So to what I would say now is mm -hmm. people need to really embrace their sexuality as mm -hmm. their own. Mm -hmm. And that is what helps you determine what works for you. Okay. Let's talk more about that because I discussed that in my monologues. Mm -hmm. You know, how for me, it's about, I know, I know if I let somebody in, it's very hard for me to release them. Yes. So I'm very careful about who I let into my space. Exactly. Right? But I don't know if everybody has the capability or if enough people stop to actually mm. think about that. So if you're trying to get to the bottom of your own sexuality, what are some of the steps, what are some of the things you, you should ask yourself? You should ask yourself, First of all, why do you want to have sex? Mm -hmm. Because it sounds like such a like stupid question. Yeah, why fine. do you think, I right? Feel good. Yeah, but not everybody's having sex to feel good. Did yeah. you know that? Let's talk about that. Not everybody's having sex yeah. to feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Some people what are, are some having sex to numb themselves. It's a drug for them. That's true. Some people are having sex to, to prove a point. So why do you want to have sex? Mm -hmm. Is it everybody's doing it? Mm -hmm. I hear what you're saying. Do you feel you're late? Yeah. Or is it also validation in yeah. a way? Like you think if this person wants me, then it makes me something. That's the other thing. Are you yeah. seeking validation from, from your partner? Yeah. And that is super dangerous, right, mm -hmm. for yourself. But isn't it like the most common reason, I think you so. say? I think yeah. so. I, I just think when you're not... People will tell me, now as an adult, I can see I was seeking validation, but at mm -hmm. the time I just wanted to feel good. Yeah. That's common to mm -hmm. hear. Because we're not used to thinking through... Exactly. Our we, actions. It's already bad. Yeah. So you just do ah, the bad thing. Do you know what I, I mean? I get it. But embracing it and thinking yeah. about it means acknowledging that why is it bad. Yeah. And it takes a lot of work, mm -hmm. emotionally especially, mm -hmm. to explore yourself. Yourself. Yeah. The reason why you know how you are with sex mm -hmm. is probably linked to the fact that you got married and then got divorced. Yes. And then you had That's to face true. the question, so now what? Yeah. Does this mean I never have sex ever exactly. in my life? Am I going to wait to get married again? Yes. <laughs> or do yes. I just... Because some people get divorced and honestly just slip their way through the continent. It's yeah. just like... <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because for them, it's like I was a good, faithful wife yes, and it still I did fails. So. Right. so, either you'll become more, way more careful than you were before, or you'll go overboard. The full, yeah. The full, like, now let me just go and do it. Yeah. Yeah. And some people actually end up falling in the middle of, let me take yeah. my time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. As, depending on the circumstances surrounding mm -hmm. the divorce as mm -hmm. well. If there was infidelity, if it was just a mutual mm. understanding that, look, this, this, thing is this not isn't working, working anymore. Yeah. yeah. No matter how hard we try, yeah. some, such a person may feel more free to say, okay, mm. I'm, I can just date mm -hmm. and try to find a person with whom I feel connected. Yeah. And, more more yeah. truly connected. Yeah. Whereas somebody who has um, had infidelity, for mm -hmm. example, can have a very reactionary sexual experience or a very self-protective exactly. boundary yeah. sexual experience. Let's talk about that. Let's talk yeah. about, first of all, why we think fidelity is so important mm -hmm. in our relationships. Yeah. Yeah. And why infidelity is like a complete betrayal yeah. to most people. The ultimate betrayal. Yes. Yes. I think, first of all, it's what we advertise as what we are offering. Mm -hmm. So... Uh -huh. The agreement. Yes. When probably... If I was to get married and that's important to me, mm -hmm. I'm looking for somebody who also values fidelity. Yeah. And sometimes we even assume that fidelity is, we assume. is a I given. Think we assume. I think we assume Yeah, it. but it's a given. Yeah. And then when that is violated, mm -hmm. it just feels so devastating because yeah. it feels like a rejection of everything that you are. Mm -hmm. 
right? Because love is supposed to be all encompassing all the time, all consuming. Forever. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget that. <laughs> Forever. Forever. So when uh -huh. there is a third party introduced yeah. into it, it can really feel like a complete violation and you weren't even included. You yeah. weren't even involved. You're not asked. You're not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No one, no one considered you. Mm -hmm. No one considered the impact of you. Also, there's a lot that goes into building a relationship. Yes. A lot of intimate moments, a lot of sharing yeah. and vulnerabilities. Yeah. And to imagine that you can deliberately take a person into your, yourself, your life, your body, your mind, your dreams, your hopes, your failures, yeah. and then they sleep with someone else, it just can feel like... I'm not good enough or it wasn't, or it wasn't special. enough or it wasn't as special. Yeah. Right? As I thought it was. And actually with fidelity, that's not always the case. In yeah, I was, I was gonna ask tricky. you, yeah, I was going to ask you that because, um, first of all, it's, it's mainly, we believe that because of what we are taught. Yes. Isn't it? So if we were to take that away, mm -hmm. if we were to be in a society where there's many open relationships, for instance, would it still mean the same to somebody if we have an excellent relationship, but we find out somebody went and slept with someone else? I think the secrecy is probably the most yeah. painful part, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Because there are people in open um, relationships, yeah. right? Where they're monogamous mostly with one another, exactly. but they allow each other the yeah. Is that happening occasional. here now as well? It is. Not as common. I yeah. don't want to make it seem like, oh yeah, everybody's doing it. <laughs> no. But there are relationships that are non-traditional, I would yes. call them. Yes, yes. So in such a situation, because you're in on it, mm -hmm. and because you've, it means you've, you've negotiated your boundaries, exactly. yeah. right? Yeah. And actually, people don't seem to understand, mm. but non-traditional um, coupling setups tend to be to require a higher level of integrity, a higher mm. level of transparency. Everything is heightened. Why? So if you can't have one partner, yeah. you really cannot have more. Yeah. Like you cannot manage. If you, because it's, it's so many moving pieces. Uh -huh. ah. It's so many moving pieces. So you pieces. have to be intentional. Yes. You're saying. You have to be completely and intentional. And honest all the time. Yes. You have to say, oh, Mona, yeah, I like her. Yeah. And because she, this other person knows that this is part of the arrangement, mm -hmm. then it's like, okay, do you love her? What are mm -hmm. we going to do? Are we including mm -hmm. her? There's so many moving pieces, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. If you're to think about polygamy as we know it, which is actually a disciplined and structured... Exactly. I don't know why people think polygamy is it's, like have sex all the time yes. with a bunch of random people. Yes. It's double responsibility. <laughs> yeah, if you have me people. living in Kileleshwa mm -hmm. and you bring on another woman, mm -hmm. you cannot have her in some other place that is considered lower than exactly. Kileleshwa and you cannot have her in a place be. higher than Kileleshwa, yeah. right? The cars have to be the same, the Absolutely. schools have to be the same. Absolutely. The, yes. So can you afford that? Yeah. It's also double the pleasure and double the fun and it's <laughs> and also double, the, double the stress. Yes. In every yeah. way. Yeah. Every way, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're not... If, if you don't have the discipline mm -hmm. for one partner, yeah. you probably don't have the discipline for more. Mm -hmm.